Here you go now, fellas. Here we go with a Bira Paroni. And it says on this one it's a um, Edition Limitata. Edicione Limitata. So, limited edition. 170 Ani. So, I should say the numbers, but I won't. Sort of. I haven't spoken Italian for so many years, that's the problem. Learned Italian and then I went off and learned Spanish and a bit of French and Dutch. Thai. A few other little bits and pieces of other languages traveling around and so the Italian got pushed in the back burner. But when I was in Italy last time I enjoyed being understood anyway. Got a beer if I wanted one anyway. No problem ordering food. Cheers, Sarah. Get in a room. No, I had a great time actually. I remember once the guy working at the hotel was Spanish. So next one I was speaking in Spanish because I could speak better Spanish than his English. But he was good at Italian, he could speak perfect Italian, so that was weird. We ended up speaking to each other in Spanish. Yeah, it's weird. This is a quite a nice beer, actually. Peroni. Some Italians talk it down. Yeah, because there's probably better beers, but this is a really good one. Really a good quality. Since 1846, good quality for a good cheap price. This was uh, pretty reasonable. It was like 12 bucks for the six pack. So you can't sort of complain about it, can you? But um, yeah, I'm enjoying it. It's a hot day. Come home from work and um, and a nice old cold beer, and it's 11 dollars something that bought his six pack, why wouldn't you? It's cheap enough. It's funny I'm drawn to this um, this place. Belmore Road and Burke Road. The Italian heritage, I don't know as well, you know, I've got a little bit of Italian in me and Northern Italian and a little bit of this and that, I can't, you can't even work out some of the names, but um, I think what you call me is like a mongrel, like a typical Aussie, a bit of this and that. What do they call it? Heinz 57 varieties. That's us. Coming to Australia and seeing the mixed people. You look down, the, that's what I do notice. When you go down the street in Australia, there's so many different shape heads and colours and clothing differences and but the the bodies and the faces and the builds are all really so different it's amazing really you could just sit there all day and just study all the different nationalities that we've got here now pretty amazing i love it i like um i like people from anywhere in the world i think the people who have to unite and um We've got to stop looking at the differences. I think all the bad things in all the holy books should be cut out. So anything that says you have to kill or, you know, fight or whatever, that's got to be all cut out. Because that's not a religious book, that's a book of war. It's just inciting war. So humans have to step up to the plate now. We're not monkeys anymore. Get hold of all these religious maniacs and put them to sleep. You know, go turn them to hard labour till they understand what's going on. You know, um, yeah, I can't see what's wrong with the world at the moment. It's a beautiful spot. It's a, a place of abundance. And people want to fight over jack shit, over bloody dogma. Fucking dogma. What a load of shit. It is just a crop of shit. We're all humans. We're all one. You know, fuck. We don't all join up, we're all doomed, I reckon. Oh, well, sorry, Peroni, I'll give you a big rant on your... Beer? 
special beer too, the limited edition air. I love it. No, oh, it's really nice. Nice and cheap. So go and get some more of this, fellas. Anyone live near Q? I don't go there that often, but yeah. After I've found it, I'll be going there a bit more. I work at a job about a street away. I just went up there and looked. I was thinking of get, about getting some food originally. I was pretty hungry. Two o'clock or something. Saw the bottle shop. Went in there. Blew all my money on beers. And I've been back a couple more times. Yeah, it's good, good value. All right. I'll leave you with it. Cheers,